Hey guys, McNutty here. Today I'm going to show you how to completely install 20XX onto your Wii. We will learn how to install Homebrew, therefore into getting Nintendo, and eventually 20XX. You are going to need a Wii, GameCube controller, and SD card. Make sure it's over 4GB and micro SD card should also work. To start it off, go to your Wii menu and in the bottom left hand corner, click the Wii settings or Wii options. Then you're going to want to go to Wii settings and after that, go into internet and connection settings and set up a connection. If you've already done this, you may skip this step as you have already done it. I'm not going to show as much of this because it is my personal internet and I do not want to show everybody, but if you have to update your Wii, please do. This will be important as the software only runs on the latest version. If your Wii needed an update, it'll go back to the Wii menu, so you must go back into Wii options and into Wii settings. Here you can check your version in the top right, and go back into internet, and then go into console information. Here you'll find your MAC address, write down your MAC address, and go to the Letterbomb website. I've provided a link in the description. Once you're on the Letterbomb website, make sure you're running 4.3U, type in the MAC address from the Wii, and cut either of the wires. It does not matter which one. Then extract Letterbomb and drag it to your SD card. It should just be on the root of it. After you have your files transferred, restart your Wii and insert the SD card. Then go on the Wii message board in the bottom right and look for a file that has been sent to you. It should look like a letter with a red bomb inside of it. Click on this letter and it should come up with a bunch of code. This is completely normal and let it load. After a while, you should be able to press 1 on this screen. Press A to continue and go up using the d-pad to install the homebrew channel. Press up and yes and continue again and it should install. Press continue and go down to the bottom to click exit. Press A on it and it should work. The homebrew channel should be installed on your Wii now. To make it easier to install Nintendo and the 20XX ISO, I have provided a download link in the description to a Google Drive which will have you install plenty of files but it will be well worth your time. Drag and drop this folder into the SD card. I have already done so so I am not going to drop it. Drag and drop or copy these files into the front of your SD card. It should be on the very first thing the Wii can open up. After these files are done moving, delete the big folder with all the stuff in it. Keep all the other ones though. After that is done, plug in your SD card and restart your Wii. Go to the homebrew channel, which is on your Wii now, and you should be able to find it on the Wii menu. Start up Nintendo by pressing A and then on the D-pad of a GameCube controller you may press left. It may take a while to load on the first time, this is completely normal. Press A on the SD card and A on Super Smash Bros. Melee. If you hit A and this red message pops up, try flipping the switch on your SD card and reinserting it. It should load, all of the code works, and it should load up 20XX. Press A when you get here, and A again once it reaches this screen. And there you go, 20XX working perfectly fine. If you have any questions, please contact me in the comments. I will try my hardest to fix them. I am no expert, but I will try my best. Thank you for watching this video, and share it if your friend needs help. Bye.